Alright, what is going on guys? It is XLT, bringing you a brand new video on my channel, and today is going to be the start of a series. It's going to be a prediction series, so basically we're going to go through every division in the NFL, AFC West, NFC North, you know, a AFC South, all that type of stuff, and we're just going to go division by division, and I'm going to predict every team's record, and I'm going to give you key losses, key wins, uh, you know, predict basically how their scheme is going to go, or not really that, but I'm going to like, you know, talk about key players, you know, who they need to step up if they want to get this type of record all that good stuff and so today we're going to be starting with the AFC West I know it's kind of a you know biased pick because my favorite team the Kansas City Chiefs are in that division so I figured you know it'll be a little bit biased but we're just going to jump right into that division I figured we start there you know uh, I'm the mo it's the division I'm the most familiar with been watching uh, you know this division for my entire life so let's jump right into that all right so here we are starting off with the AFC West and at the number one spot with the record of 11 and 5 I have my team the Kansas City Chiefs I know it might seem a little bit biased but I do believe that these guys have a chance to uh, kind of run the table in the AFC West again I, they're back-to-back -back division champions uh, they've I think they're like they've only lost like two division games or one division game in two years or something like that so that's pretty good and some of the key losses that I have for them are against Jacksonville at home at Pittsburgh against Los Angeles at home and at Denver. I picked some of those losses. Those are four of the losses. I don't think the other one's really a key loss. Uh, but Jacksonville's one of the best defensive teams in the NFL. I think we're going to have a pretty good offense next year, but I don't know how good Patty Mahomes is going to be able to step up and do against the Jacksonville defense. At Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's kind of been our Achilles heel uh, the last couple years. So, I mean, and they've got one of the best offenses in the NFL. And our defense doesn't look like it's in, you know, an elite form uh, like it was back in 2012 and 2013 and all that stuff stuff. Los Angeles, kind of the same thing. They've got a really elite offense, really good quarterback, really good running back play. And I just don't think our defense is going to be able to hold up against that. And at Denver, I feel like Denver is going to be a sleeper team for this division. And I feel like they can squeak out a couple wins. Uh, not a couple. I think they're going to do pretty good, but I feel like they'll be able to they'll be able to squeak out a win, but it'll be when we go there. Uh, I feel like it'll be a close game, that one. And some of the key wins that I have uh, written down are against New England at New England at Seattle against San Francisco and beating Los Angeles uh, the Chargers twice at New England we've kind of been the you know the uh, New England slayer the last couple years I know we lost him in that playoff game a few years ago but during the regular season we're pretty much lights out against those guys uh, at Seattle I just don't think that Seattle has a very good team this year uh, but that's just my opinion you know uh, I just don't know if they'll you know offensively and defensively be fully ready to you know uh, compete at the highest level of that division or against you know teams in the NFL, uh, other teams in the NFL. I think the Chiefs are going to be a pretty good team. Uh, that game could go either way, though. I think it'll be pretty close. San Francisco, I'm not really on the San Francisco hype train, and they're coming to Kansas City with a, you know, I'm not going to say Jimmy G's inexperienced, but he's only started like six games or seven games or something like that, so it'll be fun to see how he deals with the uh, Arrowhead crowd, and I don't know, it'll, it probably is not going to treat him that well. And then against Los Angeles twice, like I've said, we've pretty much run the division the last couple years, and I don't think that trend's going to stop, especially with uh, Jason Verrett getting injured and you know the Chargers just having a lot of injury woes throughout the season I don't feel like that I, th I think that that trend will continue but I don't think that they're gonna be able to hang with the Chiefs this year moving on to the second spot in the division I have the Los Angeles Chargers at 10 and 6 some of the key losses I have for them are at Pittsburgh Tennessee Kansas City twice at Seattle and at Denver I don't think they're gonna do particularly good on the road uh, this year and some of those games are early on in the year. Tennessee's kind of halfway through the season. Kansas City, we open against them at Seattle and at Denver, I think are some of the earlier games or some of the mid games. But San Diego really never starts off too hot. They always start off kind of on the slow end of things and then they start picking up. So I feel like they're going to struggle at the beginning of the season uh, to get stuff going. And like I said earlier, when talking about the Chiefs, they've had some injury woes on the defensive end. So I feel like teams uh, like Denver with a good quarterback and a good wide receiver core, us with a good young quarterback and good wide receivers and Pittsburgh with you know the best trio in the NFL in my opinion of you know the killer bees I feel like those are going to really uh, hit on the Chargers their pass rush really needs to step up this year and it could in certain cases but I just think that those teams are going to be able to beat them and some of the key wins that I have for them this year at Los Angeles the Rams obviously it's basically going to be a home game because they're in the same city uh, and I feel like uh, their offenses are both high powered I feel like it'll be a duel a real uh, a shootout of sorts I know that the Los Angeles de or the Rams defense has improved this year, but it's all about gelling and getting guys on the same page and stuff like that. So uh, we'll have to see how that pans out. But I think that uh, the Chargers come away with the win against the Rams. San Francisco, like I said, I'm not really on their hype train. 
I felt like last year their schedule wasn't too strong when Jimmy G came in and started winning games for them. So I feel like that was kind of inflated a little bit, but I feel like they'll be able to get a win against San Francisco, against a team who's young and not that experienced. And then at Cleveland, that may not be, uh, you know, a key win in most people's definition of that, but I feel like Cleveland's going to be a good team this year. They've got a veteran quarterback, really good wide receiver core. Their defense is nice. They've only got holes really among the offensive line and in the defensive secondary. So I feel like, you know, getting a win against that Cleveland team is going to be good for the San Diego Chargers and against Oakland twice i feel like oakland's gonna be you know a team who's gonna have to battle in this division it's gonna be really tough for them to try and get up to the number one or two spots and san diego's kind of been you know the owner of oakland the last couple years they've been really beaten up on them so i feel like it'll just that trend's just going to continue this year in the third spot of the division i have the denver broncos at nine and seven the key losses that i have are against los angeles the chargers at kansas city against Houston at home and against the Rams at home against Los Angeles I just think that you know uh, some of these this is one of the more uh, difficult divisions in the NFL this is one of the more uh, equal divisions in the NFL too I guess you could say a lot of the teams are very equal in skill and each team anytime that they play an inner division uh, game could come out with a win it's usually pretty close sometimes uh, but I feel like they'll get a win against two of the division rivals I, I feel like they'll probably this will be the team in the division that splits they'll go three and three Houston on the offensive side of the ball I don't really know how they're gonna uh, how well they're gonna handle uh, the defense the Houston's defense but but I feel like it'll be a pretty good matchup. I really do have faith in the young guys that the Broncos were able to draft. I feel like they had one of the better drafts. They got guys like Royce Freeman, Cortland Sutton, Deshaun Hamilton. They, you know, got a, a I think they got a safety from Boston College uh, who was looking pretty good. But all their guys are looking, all their young rookies are looking pretty good in the preseason. So I think their offense is going to be, it's not going to be back up to where it was with Peyton Manning. But it's definitely not going to be as low as it has been in the Brock Osweiler, Paxton Lynch, Trevor Simeon era. And some of their key W's I have against or uh, it's at Oakland at San Francisco and at and uh, against Seattle at home Seattle goes back to those you know Super Bowl days with Peyton Manning uh, where they met each other and kind of dueled, dueled it out in the preseason even though they got smacked or not in the preseason but in the regular season even though they got smacked in the Super Bowl that one year at San Francisco like I said I'm not really a big believer in San Francisco I kind of feel like uh, they're gonna get beat up on by this division this year and then at Oakland I just feel like this is a uh, this is a win in there that I feel like you could just toss up. It's either going to be at Oakland or against Oakland at Oakland. It's it's you know you never can really predict this type of stuff, but you can kind of get a feel for it. They've uh, split the season series pretty frequently over the last three four years, so I feel like they're going to continue doing that this year. And I feel like they're going to be a pretty good contender. Nine and seven, they could easily end up as the second best team in this division. It really depends on how consistent the Chargers are. But the Broncos have a chance to climb up to the second or even first spot in this division these top three teams I feel like really are the uh, the Chiefs Chargers and Broncos I really think are gonna have to battle it out for that number one or two spot or just to be able to make the playoffs I feel like the Broncos could be a playoff team but it just depends on how the division shapes out and how well that they play and last but certainly least is the Oakland Raiders I have them at the four spot in this division at seven and nine it's an upgrade in terms of win wins and stuff like that but a downgrade in terms of where they place in the division they're gonna lose to or in my opinion uh there's some of their key losses that i have written down are against los angeles twice against kansas city twice and at indianapolis i feel like indianapolis is going to be a better team than a lot of people think they will be everybody's like oh they had the third pick in the draft yeah well they're getting andrew that last year they didn't have the season that they got the third pick they didn't have andrew luck now they're getting him back They've got a good backfield with Marlon Mack uh, and J I can't. I, th I think his name's Justin. Justin Willis. I, I don't think Jordan Wilkins. Jordan Wilkins and Marlon Mack are going to be a one-two. You know, two-headed backfield back there. You get T. Y. Hilton. You got Jack Doyle, and now they have Eric Ebron from the Detroit Lions. They're going to have a pretty good offense. Their offensive line is young and upcoming with Quentin Nelson and Ryan Kelly. I feel. I feel like they'll be a pretty good team, and they're going to. You know, I think they'll handedly beat the Raiders. And uh, some key W's that I have written down for them are at. Denver at Baltimore and against Cleveland to me those are all going to be ego booster type wins those are all going to be wins that you know get the team back on track so if they're down and they're like 0 and 4 or if they're just uh they've hit a skid and they've hit a rough spot then they can uh be at they can win at Denver win at Baltimore win against Cleveland um and you know maybe hopefully they can get some momentum on their side get some morale up and stuff like that and maybe they can pull out a couple more wins all right so those are my predictions for how the NFC West is going to shape out Chiefs at one with 11 and 5 Chargers at 2 with 10 and 6 
Broncos at three with nine and seven, and the Raiders at four with seven and nine. If you guys did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. More content like this is going to be coming out soon. I hope to be pumping this stuff out on the weekends uh, whenever I get a chance, uh, you know, in between classes and on days that I'm not super busy and stuff like that. But that's going to do it for me, guys. This has been XLT signing out.